In this lesson, I will explain to you recommendation systems in machine learning. So before going to start, first I will give you the example, then I will read. So here I have written Netflix, Amazon, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. So see, suppose first time when you will go to the Amazon site and you want to buy, suppose, jewelry, right? And you are looking some jewelry, some necklaces or whatever, and you buy those items from Amazon. What will happen next time when you will go to the Amazon site, the site will recommend you same jewelry items or the necklaces, whatever you had purchased the previous day from the Amazon. Same thing for the Netflix. Suppose if you will watch one movie, right? Whatever is the genre. Suppose take the example of adventure movie M1. Next time, suppose you will watch same kind of adventure movie. Third time, it will recommend. Take the example of a YouTube. Suppose you are looking some uh, cooking channel and you want to learn the recipe of some, uh, suppose biryani. So what will happen next time when you will go to the YouTube, YouTube will recommend you different cooking channels. Same thing with Facebook and LinkedIn. They recommend the same friends, right? Suppose if you are my friend on my Facebook, so Facebook will recommend you my friends, right? So there are two kinds of recommendation system. One is called the content base. Second is the collaborative filtering. So we will see what is the difference between these two. See the name indicates the first one is content base. The content should be same. Here I will give you the simple example. Suppose we have four malls in our city. A, B, C, D. These are four malls. You go to mall number one, mall A, and Suppose X, Y, Z, these three kinds of products you find there. And you give 10 out of 10 rating to this mall. Next day you go to mall B and you will find the same content there, same brands are there, right? And here suppose you give 9, rating 9. On the basis of these contents that you are looking the same content, the system will recommend mall C if the mall C have the same content or mall D. Right, again, say, take the example of movies. Suppose in movie 1 is the adventure movie, content are same. Movie 2, right, maybe the directors are same. System will recommend movie 3 if the contents are more or less same because this is the content base. Now come to the collaborative filtering. Collaborative filtering depends on users. Suppose we have two users, A and B. These are two users. Suppose user 1 read X book and give 10 rating. By chance, the user B also reads the same book and gives the same rating, 10 out of 10. Next time, suppose user A reads book Y, whatever is the name, and gave rating 9. And he reads the same book and he gives rating 10. Next day, user A reads book C and gave 10 rating. Even though he does not read at this moment the same book, but on the basis of users, System will recommend user B the same book that you should also read this book. So see, because the ratings are same and sometimes it says that users prefer the same products. So content based means content should be same. Collaborative means it depends on the user preferences. So here I have written Whatever I said is here. These are the examples of content base as well as collaborative filtering. Now your job is to read it very slowly. I can read few lines for you. People tend to like things in the same category or things that share the same characteristics. 
For example, if you have recently purchased a book on machine learning in Python, see here they are using Python and you already know Python, definitely you will write to read a book right in of data visualization using Python. Right here is the example of Amazon, Netflix, and here are the social media, Facebook, LinkedIn. Suppose you are my friend on the Facebook. So Facebook recommend my friends to you. Same is with LinkedIn. So this is the recommendation system. One of the main advantages of using a recommendation system is that user gets a broader expo exposure to many different products they might be interested in. This exposure encourages users towards continual usage or purchase of their product. Not only does this provide a better experience for the user, but it benefits the service provider as well with increased potential revenue and better security for its customers. So I hope the concept of recommendation system is clear. In next video, I will use the Python coding and explain a project. Meanwhile, please subscribe to my channel, share my videos and thanks for watching.